Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for joining us with the brand new video on the newly released entry level flagship controller by Pioneer DJ, the DDJ Flex 4. This is a perfect controller if you're looking to step it up from a DDJ 200 and 400, and it now supports Record Box, Serato DJ Lite, and more. We were able to test out and play on this unit, and it's got a great layout with a matte finish and ease of control. In addition, it's got the smart mixing features as well as the smart CFX. Now we were able to have Pioneer DJ's demonstrator, Priyong Johnny, on the show, and he was able to dive into a lot of the features. If you guys are not familiar with us, my name is Kova. I run a weekly show called Tweak It Music Tips, and we stream live on Twitch each and every week, interviewing DJs, remixers, and producers, as well as manufacturers that demo their products each and every week. Well, enough of the chit chat. Let's jump into the video. So let's talk a little bit about these new products they have coming out. So there's the Flex 4 and the Flex 6 GT. So let's start with the Flex 4. So basically the Flex 4 over here is the replacement to the DDJ 400. It could do everything the DDJ 400 can do, plus a lot more. So let me put my record box screen on. So basically there's a couple new things on here. A major one is it no longer just works with Rekordbox, it also works with Serato. Uh, plug and play, it's Serato DJ Lite, but it can also do Serato DJ Pro with license. Also, coming out in the beginning of 2023, it's going to be compatible with Rekordbox Mobile, which lets you play off a mobile device like a phone or an iPad that could be directly connected to the device, or it could be run with Bluetooth. And that app is going to be coming out in 2023. One of the new things on it is the fact that I'm going to lift this up just so you can see it on camera. It has two USB type C ports. And the reason why there's two ports is because one port is for data and power delivery. So if you are connected to your, to your laptop, you, you just plug in the data and that'll power the controller. And that's that. But if you're using an iPhone and you're using, say, a USB adapter, you plug the power to the other port, use a power bank or a power supply, and it could do power delivery to your phone or your iPad so it'll charge it while you're using the unit. Or it could draw power from whatever device you're using. So you have that option now with the Flex 4, and it makes it more flexible when you're using different devices. So one of the new things on it are the smart mixing features. And it, this really helps the beginner get to know what, um, how you're supposed to sound when you're DJing. Uh, the two features are called Smart Fader and Smart Color Effects. And the way Smart Fader works is, say I have songs that are two tempos. Where I'm gonna play one here. I'm gonna try to play as quickly as possible so you don't get to demonetize, but... I got turned down for what on this side, and then I have feel so good over here. So let's get this back to normal tempo. I'm gonna turn on Smart Fader. Say I have. So that's a really neat feature so that you could do tempo changes. But if you listen closely, I'm just gonna play one track. It also applies some EQ and filtering as you're moving the fader. And you have the option of using the cross fader or the channel fader, and you can go into the settings and you can set one or the other or both. And the other cool thing it has is, is, is the smart color effects. Now, we know in Rekordbox, you have your filter and you have the other color effects like noise and wide filter. But with smart color effects, you also have the ability to add more effects on top of it. So I'm gonna pick one called Phantom Echo. This is Echo plus Filter. Normally to do that effect, you need two hands on two knobs. This one is all on one knob. And I'll show you one of my favorite ones. There's eight total. I hold Shift, click Smart Color Effects. There's one called Noise Chop. Baby, 
And what's cool with Noise Chop is you can use it even with the play the tracks not playing. And there's other ones. There's Reflect Echo. There's Mobius Echo. You can do a build up here. And you know, j you just explore with this eight different ones. Cyber Pitch, do it, use this as a build up. Or a breakdown. So yeah, that's smart color effects. It's basically layering more effects on the color effects so you're not just limited to the five standard ones. And a couple other things about the Flex 4 is that it has USB microphone output. So that means you can now stream from the same computer using the Flex 4. You don't have to have a second computer and a second uh, interface. What's also cool with that is that you can record the microphone and you can also use the effects inside Rekordbox, which includes Talkover, Feedback Destroyer, 3 Band EQ. You can do that with the uh, mic. And it's also compatible with the firmware update manager. So whenever you plug in the computer, if you have the firmware update manager connected, it will automatically tell you it's time to update your firmware. And when you start Rekordbox, wh whenever you plug the Flex 4 in, because this is an entry level controller, it comes with it comes with a tutorial that could help you guide you set up. And even some tutorials on how to mix. So yeah, that's the Flex 4, and that is priced at $299. So we have a lot of questions. Make sure you guys uh, start with hashtag ask in the chat also make sure we got a giveaway today and there's a lot of questions about the 400 in this they're saying wow it looks just like the 400 and that's because it's the replacement to the 400 so if you've used a 400 before it's going to be familiar to you there's nothing that was removed from the 400 or changed the only thing is is there were things that were added the design is definitely different because of a por being a portable controller the rounded edges aren't just there for style, it's also to help reduce nicks and knacks when you're moving it around, because it is a small controller. But adding to the smart mixing features, the USB Type-C, the Serato integration, those are the new things that are on the DDJ Flex 4, and it's f flexible. And it's part of the Flex series line that started with the Flex 6. So now, you know, like being able to be flexible for different types of DJs, different types of mixing styles, and different platforms, as well as different uh, devices, whether it's a computer or a mobile device, it's flexible for all those types of devices and all those variations. Okay, this is good. Mulberry says, do you have to pay for Rekordbox software? Oh, not at all. It's plug and play with Rekordbox and Serato DJ Lite. The one you would have to do is if you want to upgrade to Serato DJ Pro, you would need a subscription or a license. Levanda rocks. I'll be building <laughs> up every single drop and driving everyone crazy. How is that technology done? Is it just native to that actual controller? Like no other controller does that, right? Yeah, correct. It's actually exclusive to the Flex 4 and it's a it's a feature that uses the the sync engine to do the timing. You still have to drop it on the one right. You still have to grid it correctly. You, if you saw I was tempo bending. And so you still need to do some aspects of beat matching in order for it to sound right. But once it's lined up, you just move the tempo and it adjusts both tempos at the same time. Now it's kind of hard to do that when you're beat matching manually, you know, like you're, you're changing two tempos. Yeah. So what, that's what that does. And it's cool because if you're going from 128 BPM down to 100, you're going from house to hip hop, hip hop to house, like you have that with you. And uh, you know, some people have even mentioned, they're like, yeah, that's, that's, that'd be useful in even some professional setups. Like I know mobile DJs have said like, that's great for when you're playing different types of music and it's yeah. beep tempos all over the place. So yeah. yeah. I could see that being super helpful. All right. Let's mm. see. Um, Yo DJ Dell says he loves the black and gold. Super, super nice. I actually love that on the red ones. Darrell asks, does it link to Bluetooth speakers? No, the Bluetooth on it is Bluetooth MIDI. And what that is, is that if you have, say, let me, say you have a power bank, 
and it, it's connected directly to the power here. It's only linked to the mobile device via Bluetooth MIDI, so the audio is actually coming out of the mobile device. It's really great for practice, and if you're like, you know, you're out in you know the woods and you want to just put a mix together and you want to be wireless as much as possible and with a lot of distance between you and the mobile device that's what that's what it does is that it lets you play wirelessly via midi to the mobile device it doesn't do bluetooth audio to speakers i mean i guess you could do it from the from the mobile device to a speaker but i guess you could do it from the from the mobile device to a speaker, but what it, the only thing that's being transmitted between the controller and the iPad would be MIDI. It's just control. Okay. Just like the DDJ200, it's not our first product that does a Bluetooth MIDI. What's the price ranges between the uh, Flex 4 and then there's the Flex 6 GT? So the Flex 6 GT is 649, and they're both entry-level controllers, but the Flex 6 GT has the larger jog wheels that's CDJ size, as well as four channels. So it's a entry level or portable four channel large size jog wheel controller. Let's talk about some of the uh, streaming functionality because there's a lot of streamers here, obviously, uh, and there's a mm -hmm. lot of streaming features. Can we talk about some of the things you guys did? Yeah, so the, the thing is about, say, the DDJ400 is that the microphone doesn't route back via USB. It only goes out the analog output, the, you know, the RCA output on the 400 so if you wanted to stream from the same computer you might need an extra interface or another computer to stream from with the ddj flex 4 there's usb audio um, i don't have a microphone connected but basically you can if you hit record in record box you will hear the microphone so that also means you can stream with it if you used obs to capture it so that that way you can stream and DJ from the same computer. And uh, what's awesome about using the microphone with the DDJ Flex 4 is that you can use the effects for the microphone inside Rekordbox. So pitch, echo, reverb, three band EQ, uh, talk over, and uh, feedback destroyer are all in Rekordbox with a microphone when you're using the Flex 4. So those are some of the things that you can do uniquely on the Flex 4 from the 400. So this is the new version of the 400 now would be the Flex 4. So it's replacing it essentially, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, correct. There is no longer a DDJ 400. It's discontinued. And the Flex 4 is now the two-channel entry-level controller. So some of the main differences now that you've upgraded are, if you had to list them. Oh, yeah. It's the smart mixing features. The USB microphone output back to USB. Uh, USB Type-C and Serato integration are all the main features of that. I know some folks said they're more used to their SB3. This would be a good next step as well if you are coming from that controller. And just because it's an entry-level controller, it's not just for beginners. I mean, like James Hype did a video using the DDJ400. It's something that you could throw in a suitcase and take with you if you just want to work on a set while you're on vacation, work on your playlist or whatever. So it's not just for beginners. It's a good portable setup as well. Ask, will it work with VDJ users, virtual DJ? Officially, it's supported by Rekordbox and Serato, but virtual DJ has always been known to officially and un unofficially support Pioneer DJ controllers and mixers and CDJ. So it's... It's very likely they will they will um, add support to it. Usually, it's after release because of however long it takes them to map it. But they've been really good about being on top of um, our gear. So, ask: Will the pads on the Flex Four work with stems on the new Serato 3.0? You can map them. The stems are MIDI mappable. There's not a dedicated pad mode for stems, but well, the, the, I, the there's ever changing things on Serato stems. I believe you don't even need to map them to get them to work in the hot cue pad mode. But if you needed to map them into a pad mode that you don't use, you can do that as well. So it's it, there's no specific dedicated stem pad, but you can create one. So all, all right. right, I'm just gonna do a little scratch session with this. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, that's super cool. Let's go. It's never the gun. It's the gunslinger, everybody. Salute to you, man. Super talented.